Mr. X gonna give it to you. No thanks, bro. The latest Resident Evil leaks have caught my attention, especially regarding one particular game. Did you leak the next game? I didn't leak this, I swear. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and today we'll dive into the latest Resident Evil leaks and discuss their validity. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. I don't have my car. We've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty. In my previous videos, we've seen a lot of debate about the leaks concerning a potential Resident Evil 1 re-remake. Additionally, there was a notable leak from Dust Golem suggesting that Resident Evil 9 was being developed simultaneously with Resident Evil 8. Now, Dusk has dropped a bombshell that may unveil Capcom's future plans for the franchise. Let's see if this bombshell of a leak packs as much punch as the one that wiped out Raccoon City. Firstly, he says the new Resident Evil 1 remake leaks are bogus. Secondly, the rumored Resident Evil 5 remake isn't currently in active development. Thirdly, it seems Resident Evil 9's potential release has been pushed back to late 2025 or 2026. And finally, a remake of Resident Evil 0 and Code Veronica is reportedly in the works right now. While it's possible that Dusk Golem was motivated to beat other insiders to the punch, it's essential to take this information with a grain of salt, until officially confirmed. However, if these rumors hold true, a remake of Resident Evil Zero and Code Veronica could pave the way nicely for future installments like a Resident Evil 1 and 5 remake. Code Veronica's impact on the storyline is undeniable. It's even subtly referenced in the Resident Evil 2 remake through a letter, supposedly from Chris Redfield. Although it looked like that letter may have gone to the wrong person. Wow, a letter from Chris. I just got back from a date with a hot chick. Now you can guess what we got up to under her trail Artie umbrella. Europe is amazing. One month is in no way enough to even scratch the surface. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. Barry, don't you even think of coming to join me? Wouldn't want to make all the cute girls cry. Yeah. Chris, what the fuck? Back in December, Capcom made a promise to fans, vowing to continuously release more Resident Evil remakes in the future. Given the glorified success of titles like the Resident Evil 2 and 4 remakes, it's clear that Capcom would be foolish not to consider revitalizing other classics in the series before tackling the Resident Evil 5 remake. Interestingly, recent remarks from the voice actor of Albert Wesker in the Resident Evil 4 remake hints at ongoing projects. This raises the exciting possibility that the next remake could be Resident Evil 0, 1, Code Veronica, or even 5, as these games prominently feature everyone's favorite villain, Albert Wesker. It's finally my time to shine. My God! Press, interrupt me again, <laughs> and I'll release Ouroboros onto you. You son of a bitch. According to Dusk Gollum, the remakes of Code Veronica and Resident Evil Zero will be developed by different teams. The Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 4 team is said to be in charge of the Code Veronica remake. I'm thrilled about the news as I can't express how much I loved playing those games. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Resident Evil 3 team, who also happened to develop the separate Waste DLC, will handle the Resident Evil Zero remake. I'm hopeful they won't disappoint with RE0. To clarify my earlier comments on Resident Evil 3, the third remake is not bad, but it's not my favorite due to it feeling short, especially with the constant encounters with Nemi. The most memorable part of that game is how much he wanted to eat stars. But that's a discussion for another video. Code Veronica is an underrated gem in Resident Evil history that truly deserves the remake treatment. Many fans grew up with this game, therefore Capcom has a golden opportunity to impress them with the remake through the game's intense experience, memorable characters, incredible setting, and standout voice acting. In addition to this, Capcom has a pretty solid track record of somewhat staying faithful to the original while adding modern enhancements. By remaking Code Veronica, 
Monica. New fans will get more insight into Claire's story after Resident Evil 2, as well as the escalating conflict between Wesker and Chris. This sets the stage for a potential Resident Evil 5 remake, providing a satisfying payoff to the overarching narrative. If you started the Resident Evil series with Seven or Village, you may not get a full grasp of Chris Redfield's character. He just seems to show up waiting for Leon or Ethan to continue the Redfield bloodline. Why not change expectations around Resident Evil 5 and potentially redeem Resident Evil 6 as well? And Dusk isn't the only one claiming that a Code Veronica remake is in development. Back in 2023, a purported playtester on 4chan also confirmed this. Based on the leaks, the remake will feature a third-person over-the-shoulder perspective, similar to Resident Evil 2. This means no tank controls or dynamic panning camera angles. A third-person view could be more feasible for new players, as aiming and shooting would be easier for them. However, just like a VR mode or third-person mode added in Village, they could include an option to toggle the fixed camera angles on and off for those who prefer the classic experience. Although technically mods do that, the prologue is said to begin with Claire Redfield recounting the Raccoon City incident, similar to how Leon's story begins in Resident Evil 4. There may be a slight deviation from the original game, as players will control Claire in the opening cutscene, showing her attempted escape from the guards in the Umbrella Building. Unlike the action-packed scene in the original, players will guide Claire through a slower-paced tutorial, searching for her older brother Chris Redfield, and exploring parts of the building. After being spotted by guard, she will attempt to escape, mirroring the original scene before being captured and sent to Rockford Island, where the main game continues. Based on the leaks from the playtester, the prison the prison on Rockford Island is vast, with many cells and guard rooms. Claire awakens to explosions as an inexplicable air raid wipes out most of the island's inhabitants and structures. She escapes the prison with fellow inmates, Steve Burnside, a key character in Code Veronica. They enter a safe room, where players can freely swap between Claire and Steve, each of whom has their own set of skills to explore the next areas. For example, Claire excels with knives, has better aim, and faster shooting, and is more efficient at solving puzzles. In fact, she informs the players on how to solve them and can occasionally spot hidden items. Meanwhile, Steve can duel, wield guns, run faster, throw knives from a distance, and employ stealth tactics similar to those in the Resident Evil 4 remake. He also knows passwords to access new areas, however, despite his strengths, he cannot combine herbs, which adds a layer of decision-making when choosing which character to use. Resident Evil Zero would also be interesting to adapt, especially with a possible core element of switching between two players characters, Rebecca and Billy. While there's no confirmation or public evidence that a Code Veronica remake is in development, wouldn't it be great if it is? I really hope these rumors are true and that we get remakes of both Code Veronica and Resident Evil Zero, as they set up Albert Wesker for the role he will ultimately play in the inevitable Resident Evil 5 remake. I don't consider myself a veteran RE player who's experienced the apocalypse in September 30th, 1998. But as both a PC and console player, I'm stoked for more Resident Evil games, and I'm all for a Code Veronica remake. How do you feel about a Code Veronica remake? Which characters do you think Capcom underutilized that needs to be in future games? That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and comment your thoughts on Resident Evil below. What Resident Evil game are you looking forward to the most? And if you would like to stay updated to your favorite games, including Resident Evil, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and that's all. This thing